So listening to the album, yeah, I could, I could feel some samples were there. I could feel the changing name no, 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 it was remake. Yeah, and then remake, there was yes. also sunshine. Yes. From yes. So how hard was it clearing these samples? Um, well, they they're not samples. Okay. You see, so there's a difference between making a new master of a record and then also either licensing okay. or sampling. So in the US, what you do is that when you make a new master of a song, then you make sure that you register it into the systems of the US and then whoever are the beneficiaries of the publishing, everything goes right to those people automatically. You know, so you use, if I'm a BMI thing, so I put it through BMI and then whoever are the co-publishers or whoever the publishers, whoever the publishing automatically goes through because BMI is a signatory to all of this. So you have a system where you put that into that and then that is totally taken care of. That. So that's, so it was, it wasn't a sample, it was? It was a remake. A remake. Yeah, yeah. so when, you know, the, the thing is that people confuse here because sample, a sample is when you take the original recording and you take a portion of the original recording and then you take the original recording and then you put your voice and you build on it. So that means that you've taken the recording, the master of somebody else, the master of the song and taken something from there. And if you license, licensing means you go and then you take the sample, the full on song, and then you come and then you're like, okay, I'm taking this song and I'm using it for certain purpose, and you license the master of the song. But if you re-record a song, you make a new master of it. So that master is different from the original right. master. So that is a new master that you, it's, 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 you possess. There's the original master and then you have the master. So you set it up in such a way that whoever, uh, uh, you know, is the original record owner, you know, they get the royalties, uh, which is the uh, mechanicals, okay. and then also performance ro and royalty also goes through BMI or whatever international organization that you are connected to, and then they put. So if let's say there is a um, uh, what's it called a Cosga and all that kind of signatories performance. So if there's something goes through that system, and then it ends up in. Cosca. So that's kind of how how it works. So you have a system where you put, you have these things, you know, uh, set up, and then it disseminates automatically to the rest of the world. So you can you can cover any song in the world. You know, you can go and cover any song and release, and then you just have to set up the structures in there according to what you have set up in the US, and then the rest will just take care of themselves because they're signatories to other organizations. Okay, so I, I guess that seems to explain a lot, especially if you don't know about remastering and also sampling. This is very, it's been very, very educated. Yes, 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 you know, because I think that people sometimes don't understand these things and they started using these words, but every word has different implications, mm -hmm. you know, so if you have a new master of a song, that is a new master, and if you expand it, that means you expand it, if you add new arrangements to that class like we expanded the concept of the new master you know so it's it's there are differences you know but when people start saying oh sample the song you sample the song you know they just don't you know you you just and sometimes you can't explain it to people because they just don't understand it you know so for me it's better to explain it to people for them to understand how all these things work nice yeah. but have you reached out to Kabum? Kabum is the son of Alaji Yes, I reach. Yes, I reach out to Kabum. So okay. I will go and sit with the family and explain to the family how these things work, and also, you know, resolve and make sure that they are set up very well for whatever I've set up over there to make sure that they are cool. Okay. So the album came out eight March. Yeah. How has it been so far? Because I saw it's number ten on the. Yeah, yeah, it debuted iTunes. at number ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been and it's getting rave reviews like nice. all over. Everybody's very excited about the record, everybody's talking about it, and uh, for me, it's just honoring them, you know what I mean, and honoring heroes, and um, you know, honoring, you know, the country that has given us so much, and also knowing that it's a time we need our arts, need a 
lot of support. Uh, our art, but our art is powerful enough to compete with anybody around the world. And we have made inroads that the whole world is looking at. And, you know, personally, um, I feel that, you know, my life's journey, um, you know, this record is something that is almost like a homecoming. It's paying homage to what is my country, what is our music, what is our, uh, our various artists in the different styles, stylistically, what is the current energy of our musical style. Something that I know that within my ecosystem, the world needs to know. You know, so this is kind of a, an album that is like the beats of Zion. You know? Zion is, we are Zion. You know, so you hear the beats wherever you are, you can hear it. If it's Zion, that means everybody belongs to here one way or the other. And if you feel it, you can know it. You know? So it's, uh, that's really the essence of this record. Nice, yeah. so should we accept it? Well, nothing is nothing is off the table, you know. I mean, this it's, it's it's a great record, and it's already raising a lot of, you know, it's already drawing a lot of attention. So I think that 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 is how Branch to the Same Tree also, you know, you know, started off and started, you know, gaining attention there, and you know, pundits and critics around the world, everybody's hailing it, you know, as a as a great record, you know, from the last record to this one. So. It should, it should have a very good chance. It right. should have a very good chance. Like, you know, many of us know you as a reggae artist. That's, 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 that's a misconception. Yes. That's, that's what, that's, that's our view. Like, that's I mean, I remember, I, you know, Elon is here. So if I say I'm not, I'm not a reggae artist, then we'll go, then it will be, it will be a problem. I am a reggae artist, yes. you know. But, but I'm an African reggae, I'm African Afro roots artist. Okay. Because listening to the album, you yes. could feel her life. Yes, yes. So, how was it like? Reggae artist, bringing her life. Charlie, person. now show me here. You no. look at me. I'll be from here. I, I know. You see, so I can't be anything else apart from what you hear on the music. I grew up on the, my when I was a little kid, the music I was listening to was the Kunedus, was the Amachi Dedes, was, you know, the Nanampedus, you know, the uh, Kefrin Pons, you know, like, this was the music I was listening to. This was the music that inspired me. This is the music before I discovered reggae. This was my foundation. And then the traditional music. So that's why you see I use a lot of drums, yes. you know, traditional beats in there because I was even in a culture too when I was uh, a little kid. You know, so all these are who I am. And then reggae music also, I embrace reggae music, you know. So to, to create, the opportunity was there for me to create and innovate because not everybody, even the Jamaican artists, not a lot of them have the opportunity to have all these cultural uh, depth to draw from. We have that. So we can still kind of, you know, see that music and that style and we can still be able to bring our identity into it and push new boundaries or establish new uh, palettes for that rhythm, rhythmic style. And it's all Ghanaian music because every Ghanaian, if you look in the history of our music, all of our music is fusion. It's music from outside that we integrated and then created. When it was, when it was big band around the world, we are playing big band high life. You know, and then you see at a certain time we are playing like salsa high life. When disco came, then you had bugger high life. It was kind of disco that was in there. You know, so we are always following the trends and integrating it into our, When hip hop came, we had hip life. You know, so we, we, no man is an island and that's what the beauty of music, the beauty of music is, is everybody's language. So if people are understanding in one place, you are also understanding it. But when you interpret, you interpret it according to your environment and according to your inspirations and according to the vision of how you see that it should be. And I think that's the beauty of being here and having so many influences to draw from. Nice.